So we've actually accomplished a lot thus far in this course. We have gotten our read taken care of. We've already displayed clubs on our web page, so we don't have to worry about our read anymore for our clubs. We've already gotten our create taken care of. We can create clubs now. Now what we need to start taking care of is our update. And our update is really not going to be that much different from our create endpoint. So the first thing that we are going to create is a get endpoint. We always create a get and a post endpoint. In order to create a get endpoint, you know the deal already. We just have to go into here, get out our handy get mapping annotation and tell the actual endpoint what type of URL do we want. So I'm going to call this uh, clubs. So I'll say clubs slash, and then I'll take in the actual club ID because we're going to need a club ID to take in so that we know which one to edit. And I'm just going to tack on an edit right here. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here. I'm going to say public string edit club form, very similar to our create club form, but just an edit. I'm going to take in a path variable. Path variable is going to be club ID. So the path variable is going to be matched with the parameter. So if the club ID and the parameter don't match, it's probably not going to work because it matches them based off these right here. So this has to be the same thing as this in order for it to accept it. Could be different circumstances, but you probably want it to be the same name anyway. So I'm gonna go into here, club, and I'm going to say club service dot find club by ID. So we just want to find a club by the ID. And we don't actually have this yet because this has not been created in our service. So let's go ahead here and right click on this create method find by ID and just click on the actual red uh, light bulb here and it will automatically create it for you. So find club by ID has been created. Click on one related problem, then go into here. And then what you want to do is you want to go into here, click the light bulb again, click OK, and it's going to go ahead and it's going to generate the method for you in the actual service. Service. Okay, but we can't stop there. We need to actually put the code inside of the method. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here. I'm going to initialize a club. I'm going to go into my repository. So I'll say club repository dot find by ID. And we need to pass in a club DTO right here. So I'm going to say long and club ID. So, uh, or a club ID, I should say. We need to pass a club ID into the find by ID because once again, we're finding it by the ID. All right, so what's going to happen is you're going to get this error. It's going to say you need an optional. And I'm going to go ahead and get give it a git and we need to return a club DTO. This is only returning a club. So we need to get out our mapper and we need to map this club to a DTO. And the way that we do that, we go return map to club DTO. And then we're just gonna go ahead and pass in this actual club and we are going to return it um, to the controller. But we have one more issue is that we broke the service when we added that long. So we need to go back into this club service and I'm going to control click and go into here and I'm going to add the club ID right here. So right here, we're going to have hopefully no related problem, but our problem now is that we just need to pass this club ID into our controller. Okay, so we've already got most of this built out. Now all that we need to do is we need to go back into our controller and we need to finish building it. And all that we need to do now is just add this to the model attribute. So we'll say model, dot add attribute and let me see here also the next thing i need to do is i need to add this model so we'll say model model and then go down here and then we're going to add attribute and we are going to pass in the club and we need to go get this club from the database because we're editing a club we are editing an individual instance of a club so if we're going to edit something, we need it beforehand so that we know which one it's going to edit. And the way that we do that is we just pass in this club. So we go string club, and then we're going to pass in the club right here. So got this. Now we pass it into our view. Now we need to actually return HTML. And the way that I'm going to actually return this is just have clubs and edit so that it matches the rest of these strings in our uh, other methods. So let's go into our actual templates file and let's create an HTML file for this controller. So we're gonna go clubs and we're gonna call this edit. Gonna go ahead and create 
this new HTML file, but we can't stop there because we're just gonna go into the actual clubs create HTML. We're just gonna copy it and paste it into the actual clubs.edit because it's going to be so similar. But we need to do a couple things first. Let's just call this club edit so that we can distinguish between it. Also, these are going to be new endpoints. So we need to create a new TH action that's going to reflect the edit endpoint instead of just the actual new endpoint. And in order to do that, we're just gonna go into here and we're going to give it this cool syntax that looks just like this. So we'll have that. And then what we'll have is club ID is equal to um, alligator marks, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> and then this right here, I didn't, I didn't know what to call them. So just call them whatever you want to. All right, so got that figured out. And we also need to add one more alligator mark to the end of this so that it will close it out. So we have our club also um, we have our method post. The only thing that's going to be different is that we need to add hidden files, hidden IDs within our form up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have input, I'm going to have type is equal to hidden, and we're going to have th field I'm going to have the ID right here. So the ID is going to be passed up. We want the ID to be passed up within the JSON object. We will be injecting it into the edit, but it also just helps to have it within our actual field right here. So that looks good. We don't have to take care of anything else. We're gonna add val validation on in a second, but let's just get this update point uh, endpoint taken care of. So in order to do this, all that we're gonna do is once again, just very similar to the actual post endpoint that we created earlier, we're just going to have post right here. We will have the URL of clubs. So we will say clubs and we will have the endpoint of club ID. So we will also have the club ID and we will also have the edit endpoint and it will be able to tell the difference between them because once again, this is a get and this is a put. These are two entirely different things. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to have our method. So we'll say public string. And we're going to say update club is equal to path variable. So we will have the actual path variable right here. So path variable and the path variable will be a club ID we're going to match our URL once again. So it's just going to match this part right here. Then we're going to take in a long and we will call this the long of club ID. So this will be a club ID right here. Then what we're going to have is we're going to have a model attribute. So it's going to check the model and it's going to try to associate what we are passing up with a club DTO. So we'll have club DTO. Then we will have Club. Okay, so let's go ahead and now we're going to have the actual binding result. Um, we will save, actually, let's save the binding result for another video because we're going to be doing validation in the next video. Let's just go down here and let's just go ahead and save it and work on the validation in the next video. So we'll go here and we will have club ID. So we'll have the club and we'll have club dot set ID. So I'm going to lowercase this. This is actually a lowercase. I need to lowercase this. And then we're going to have club dot set ID. So we're going to set the ID and we're going to pass in the club ID. We could pass up everything, but just for convenience, convention's sake, we're actually going to pass up the club ID as well too in the actual path variable through the URL as opposed to just passing it up in the body. So that's what the set ID is doing. Next, we'll go to club service and we will go to update club. So we'll go club service. Next thing that we need to do is we actually need to create this endpoint right here. So we'll go update club. We are going to pass in a club. So next, all that we do is we have it resolve here by clicking create method update club in the club service and it will automatically do everything for us. Okay, so that looks good. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to go to our related problem right here. We are going to implement this method within our service impl. So we go up here and what we need to do is we just need to go into here. We're going to have club, club, and we will have this map to a club. So we'll say map to club. And we actually need to make this. So we're gonna say map to club and we're gonna pass in the club right here. And we're just going to have it create a method. So we're going to have it. So this is going to be returning a club and this is going to be very similar to this right here. So looking at this, we aren't returning a club DTO. We are returning a club. So that's how I usually create mappers. I just think about which one am I trying to make here? I'm trying to make a just a club. I don't want a club DTO. So I'm going to use 
the club builder build to build all of this. And if you don't get this right here, what you need to do is you need to control click on club and add this builder annotation right here. Otherwise you won't get these methods right here. So if you're not getting those methods, that's what's occurring. So here I am going to say this ID. So I'm going to update the ID and I'm going to pass in the club dot get ID I'm going to change this to DTO. So we'll say club DTO and we'll go ahead and do this all the way down. So we'll say title club dot get title. Then we'll go down and we'll do the exact same thing. So we'll say photo URL. So we'll say club dot get photo URL dot get created on updated club dot get updated on. So now we have a map to club and we need to return the club DTO. So we'll say club DTO, return that. So we'll say club, and then I'm gonna call this club DTO so that they don't get mixed up. So I'm just gonna say club DTO just like this, because I think that that is a little bit more explicit. So we'll say mapped club. This is going to take in a club DTO. Okay, and that looks good. So we're taking in a mapped to club, we're taking in a club DTO, and we are returning a club. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to actually go to the club repository, and I actually need to save these, and I'm going to go ahead and pass in a club just like that. Okay, so that looks good. Let's go back to the controller. Now we've got our actual update finished. Let's go ahead and return or redirect to the actual club. So if we get a success and there's no exception handling, we're gonna have to provide exception handling here in a second, but if there is a success, we're just going to have it redirect to clubs. It will just redirect back to where the entire club page is. And at least this way we'll be able to check if it's actually working. Okay, so let's also go into our clubs list and let's add an edit button so that we can go into each one of these and actually edit what we need. So we're gonna go into here and I'm going to give this an A, I'm going to call this class and I'm going to give this a class of BTN, BTN primary. So I'll say BTN dot BTN primary just to get a blue button and go here, it'll say th.href, and this is going to equal to slash club. So we'll say slash clubs, and we'll say club ID, just like this. And then we will say edit, so slash edit, and we need to pass in the variable. So it will be uh, a club ID, so we'll say club ID, D is equal to money and club dot ID. And then we'll have this go ahead, close this out, and then we will have an edit button. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to take this A, we're going to put it down here, and we are also going to turn down the margin on this position relative class right here. And also let's go ahead and add a little bit of margin bottom to here. So we'll say margin bottom two, and hopefully that should be it. So let's go ahead, run it, let's see what it looks like. When we look at it, this is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and test out our edit very quickly. And we will say Charlotte running club and we'll just give it edit just like this. And we'll go ahead and hit create. So Charlotte running club, edit just like this. And next thing that we need to do is we're getting all types of crazy inputs into here. So we're gonna go ahead and add validation so that we don't get all of this crazy stuff right here and it looks really good. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.